In his career coming in, 6 of 25. Tells you what's happened with the big guys, right? But on a doubt. I mean, he wasn't doing that much in uh, Phoenix. That's one reason why they got him out of there. Leaf in the lane. T.J. Leaf has his second field goal. He was so good off the bench a couple of Fridays ago. I tell you what, T.J. Leaf is, is continues to kind of grow. On. Will be the only Pacer to play all 82, and he thought about it for a moment. T.J. Leaf has points number seven and eight. What he thought about, Chris, is nobody knew what they were doing. 13 rebounds. So congrats to the Fever on that. So what a day it is, Pacer Sports Entertainment. Everybody's focused on what they need to be focused on, Quinn. Now Leaf against Collins, ducks inside and scores. The one issue the Hawks have had all year, Quinn, they give up 119 points per game. It, but I'm thinking Dan might be, well, no, I, I take advance. And a three in the corner, no good. Tipped up and in by T.J. Leaf. That's a basket and a foul. For Atlanta. Most of the end of this year, and that's Leap with the offensive rebound, and Len got him. Great work out of T.J. Leaf, who was too shy of his season and career high. There is nothing better, quite frankly, than to be able to have one off. It's like yeah. when the, the Pacers get blowouts and guys get to sit for a quarter. Leaf inside again. He's got 22. Playing that center spot against Lynn. Prince That's came over to help. He hacked him, too. And Leaf continues to clean up in the post. Great read there by T.J. Leaf. Because Horter looked at him the first time, looked away from him, and when he looked back to make the pass, Leaf intercepted one that was going to Trey Young. And a pound by T.J. Leaf. Because a really good drive there by Edmund Sumner to run the defense off, but T.J. is having an outstanding night. 28 points, career high. 